up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Team Alpha Males, Chad Mendez. Uh, Connor McGregor, Chad what? Mendez, it's and so we are underway. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five minute rounds. Black trunks for Mendez, white trunks for McGregor. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power in his punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. He continues to connect with those punches. There he goes, stand up. Oh, he clipped him there. That cut on his cheek is getting worse. And he connects Both here. Both men landing in that exchange. Yeah, Joe Strong weight left combo by McGregor. Oh, oh head kick. Off the kick. And they separate. Wants the single. Oh, he completes the suplex. He's got him in the crucifix, and now he's really using his body weight against him. Joe, not much going on here. They both seem to be either taking a bit of a breather or they're canceling each other out with their moves and counters. Nice shot to the head. Full guard here. He's now back to half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Joe, everyone in attendance tonight might actually be Irish. Listen to the support for oh, Conor McGregor. Big shot. Whoa! The kick lands. Huge He's kick. Stunned. That rocked him. Roundhouse kick to the head gets the victory. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's take another look at the huge kick that caused the end of this fight. And you can see right here, as soon as it lands, this fight is over. Let's see it again. Check it out again. Boom! Right on the money. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivera is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, winner by knockout. It's a featherweight matchup between Conor, Notorious McGregor, and one of the greatest featherweights of all time, Jose Aldo. Oh! Conor McGregor, fight. Jose Aldo. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Jose Aldo is a great striker, and his knee techniques are amongst the best in the business. Missed with that one. McGregor gets caught by a solid uppercut. His whips that punch in. Flying all over the place early. Big shot. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Keeping it unpredictable. 
Joe, everyone in attendance tonight might actually be Irish. Listen to the support for Conor McGregor. Oh, oh head kick. Off the kick. Hard straight punch. Big combination. Oh, nailed him. Rocked him. This could be it right here. There oh, he is. Got the takedown. work from the bottom. He's fainting with the punch. Hard hook. Both men throwing frequently. Oh, nice. Huge kick misses. He really likes to work the hook. That's oh, oh, my. This could be it. Trying to finish this fight. Big takedown. another hook right here. Straight left by McGregor. Excellent job of timing these combinations. Swing and a miss. There's the jab. Here's that right hook again. McGregor wow. with... Wow. Oh, he's knocked down. Look at that again from another angle. And let's check it out from a different angle. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. And he's teeing off. Almost caught him. You could hear that one, Joe. Yeah, he got hurt. Oh! Oh! My! Just like that! Huge right-hand shot that got him the victory. Once again, here's our fight replay. Here's another look at it here. Let's see that again. Boom! And he's out. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor Connor Notorious McGregor wins by knockout.
up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Conor, Notorious McGregor, and former top contender, Nate Diaz. Oh! Conor McGregor. Are you ready? Nate you ready? Diaz. Let's and go we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Diaz. Black trunks for McGregor. Conor McGregor has a very unpredictable striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power in his punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Diaz with a straight that scores. That left misses. He's fainting with that kick. Nice combination. Precise jab by Diaz. Tries for a low single. Diaz with a good takedown. They're back up. Diaz with a strong jab. Both men throwing frequently. There's some beautiful boxing technique by Conor McGregor. That's exactly right, Jim. Great job with the jab. You could hear that one, Joe. Yeah, he got hurt. And there's a takedown attempt. Joe, everyone in attendance tonight might actually be Irish. Listen to the support for Conor McGregor. Joe, that's another big head kick. His opponent needs to start blocking these. Look at that, right to the temple. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. He blocks that vicious knee. And he pulls away. And he lands the roundhouse. Nate with the jab. Ninety seconds remains in the round. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. He's circling to his right here. Nice hook to the body. Oh! Goes for a single. Oh, and down. Good control, posture's up. Nice elbow to the body. Full guard. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. There we go, north south position. They're working hard here in the clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. That huge head kick was blocked. Diaz with a good punch. And the end of the round. Let's take another look at some of the actions in that round. And there's a nice head kick. To, what a great round. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Round two is underway. Joe, there were a couple of good moments in that first round. That was a decent first round. It looks like they're just starting to find each other's range and timing. Now. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, excellent length and reach, along with very solid Brazilian jiu-jitsu and professional-level boxing skills. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Nice punches. Man, a ton of damage has been done. And his left eye is really starting to swell up. Good lead left. He faked the takedown and lands a big punch here. Connected there. Good exchange. And really showcasing the hook here in round two. Doing a nice job. That one's good. Absolutely. In the, the clinch. clinch. He trips. Close. Got him to the ground. Nicely done. And they're back up. Joe, let's keep an eye on him. He's going to try to set up that hook again. Joe, there's a double jab by McGregor.
He hurt him with that hook. Vicious combination. Oh! Oh! My! Just like that! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of this fight. Here is a huge uppercut, and that is the end. Let's take a look at it one more time here. Perfect timing on this punch, and it lands right on the button. Check it out here. Bam! Out cold. Bruce Bumper has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan. It's a bantamweight matchup between T.J. Dillashaw and brilliant Brazilian Hennin Burrell. Oh! T.J. Dillashaw, Hennin Burrell. Here we go! Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Burrell earned his black belt. In September of 2011, he was Andre Pedaneris' 100th Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. That's incredible. Yeah. Those are some animals. That's insane. Oh, big support for Burrell here too. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Nice hook. Beautiful combination. Dillashaw with another big hook. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum clinch. Works the double underhooks here. And he's got his back here. Just over three now. And he pulls away. Flying for the knee. Nice straight to the body by Burrell. Good combo. That's a big knee to the midsection, and he's in pain here. Oh, and he lands the head kick. Oh, that hook did damage. Nice takedown. Back up to his feet. Just missed with the big left hand. Oh! Oh, he's landing at will. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. That's, That's a strong nice uppercut. Time. They are really battling for position in the clinch. One minute. He misses with the straight left. He lands a clean combination. That one connected. 30 seconds left in the round. He got tagged there. Very good exchanges here. Look at that, right to the temple. Couple of shots. And he finishes the single. And 
the oh, round God. comes to a close. And what a statement he made with that takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Comes out swinging. Brown's eyes are both starting to swell pretty badly. The right hook misses. And another strike lands. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Straight punch gets through. Working the body. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. Check out the significant strike lane. Nice job here at round two thus far. Those hooks are becoming very dangerous. Both men landing in that exchange. Joe, look for him to set up that hook again. Good right-left combo by Burrell. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. They split. Big hook. Wants the single. Oh, and down. Hit the skate. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Under Guillotine. three now. Guillotine. He's out of the guillotine. He postures up. He's able to get back on his feet again. Changing things up with the stance going south, Paul Joe. And he gets some torque on that hook. Oh, double jab. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. Joe doing a good job with his jab. Dillashaw with the right that connects. Nice job keeping those hands busy. Oh, just missed with that right. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, that caught him. In half guard position. He's got him in his guard. He's going to step over, full mount now. Back on their feet. And he's looking for that left. Straight punch. Standing and trading. Exactly what we had hoped for. Oh, he clipped him there. To the body. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Great jab by Burrell. Oh, huge suplex. And he's in north-south position. And Joe, what a huge takedown there in the final seconds. Good stuff, good stuff. That was your round for sure. Your round, you dominated. You were the same. This is the last five minutes. As soon as I can. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see it again. And here we see a devastating suplex. You can really see how. You ready to fight? Ready. Five Go. minutes remain. Joe, that was a good round we just saw. It'll be very interesting to see if the fighters can keep this pace. Though. I think they will keep this pace. I think they're actually going to probably start turning it up a notch as we head down the home stretch. Nice hands, really connecting with the punches. Oh, he takes him with that hook to the head. Wow! This could be it. Can he finish it? timing here to land a big left hand to stop the fight. Time now for our fight replay. 
Let's take a look at the replay here. Look at this huge straight punch that causes the knockout. We can see it one more time. Look at this huge straight punch that causes the KO here. Great angle here. Bam! Out cold. With the... Up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between Dominic Cruz and TJ Dillashaw. Dominic Cruz, TJ Dillashaw, and we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Black trunks for Dillashaw, white trunks for Cruz. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight are the counter shots of TJ Dillashaw. He is very good at catching opponents as they move in and close the distance. Switches the stance. Hard hook. Another punch to the head. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, he's starting to tee off. Great job landing a series of punches. on his cheek. Scramble, scramble, scramble. He scores with a huge hand. left. Oh, brutal ground and pound. Oh, that one hurt him. And now it moves into full guard. He just rocked him with that hammer fist. Trying to take the back here. And back up. Oh, There's big hand. Hand jump. Huge uppercut. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Wow! Oh! He hurt him with that hook. Oh, oh he completes the suplex. by both men. Oh, and he lands a big uppercut. He's landed a few here. Joey's really come out aggressively starting this fight. He continues to connect with those punches. And that'll be the end of round number one. Joe, that was a great round and a big knockdown from Dominic Cruz. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight.
Let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. Way to finish the round. No. There you go. Step the level. Let it. Let it. Let round it two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Vicious shot to the body. Oh, oh. combination. He hurt him. Looking to finish the fight. Oh, beautiful. Wow. He got Unbelievable. He is getting off some huge punches That's here. That's a powerful kick to the body. Did damage. Oh, big combination. Oh, what an exchange. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Hard straight punch. Look, 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 look at that. Look oh, down, what a man. big suplex. Nicely done. Half guard. Good control. Postures up. Full guard now. He's back up again. He blocks that hook. Dominic Cruz is aware that his opponent's hurt, and he's looking to continue to do damage. He certainly is targeting that cut. You can absolutely tell he's zeroed in on it. Man, those body shots have been lethal. Look at the bruising on his right side. Look at that, right to the temple. Oh, his opponent him with the left. Rocked him with the left hand. Look at this, take down. Half guard. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Wow, Huge that's left a big hand. left hand. Nice jab. Combination. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Boom, big uppercut. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Joe, this is an outstanding show. The ability to continue to fight at this aggressive pace, simply outstanding. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Cruz with the solid kick. Excellent job of landing punches here. Up. Round number two complete. DJ Dillashaw is going to be looking to bounce back here in this round. That was not good. He got knocked down again and badly hurt. This is not going his way. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. left in this fight. Comes out swinging. His other eye is starting to swell. He connects with the straight. Nice straight left. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. to half guard. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! 
Full guard. Passes out of half guard and into side control. Oh, great transition. Huge Nasty elbow to the head. It is over! Wow! Dominic Cruz, the victor! Wow! What a statement that man just made! Big ground and pound KO. Let's look at that from a different angle. Great angle here. And he's out. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. Dominic Cruz, winner by knockout. It's a light heavyweight matchup between John Jones and the two-time Olympian, Daniel Cormier. The old American R2. John Jones. Ready? Daniel Cormier. Let's go, and we are underway. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight is the wrestling and the takedowns of John Jones. John Jones can do it all, but his wrestling is quite special. John Jones with some nasty power behind those body kicks. And he lands again. That's a nice punch by Cormier. Oh, there beautiful you go. combination. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Oh, he got clipped. Joe, he continues to put together great combinations. And he gets the hook to go. He's been trying to land that throughout the fight, Joe. And that time he did, and it did some damage. Jones with the one-two. Joe, he's looking for an opening for that hook. And there it is again. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Cormier gets caught by the kick to the midsection. Beautiful combination. Joe, you can hear Greg Jackson in the corner of John Jones reminding him to keep his hands up. Nice hands. There's that right hook again. Continuing to attack. Nice left hook to the body. He really turned that over well. Cormier connects. Joe, we always look back to his Olympic caliber wrestling, but he's a very dangerous striker. Hard hook. Another hook lands. Doing a good job with his strike. Man, his face is a mess. Jones with the right hook. He's finding his rhythm here early in the round. Whoa! Wow! And it is all Whoa. over! John Jones, the victor! Wow! What a statement that man just made! Landed a hard kick for the knockout. 
Let's check it out from a different angle. Let's see that again with the official decision. Here's Bruce.